for those familiar, picture the Mark 12 uh, from the military system. Um, so really this uh, small frame AR 223556 with some kind of scope or, you know, uh, a low power variable or an intermediate range scope. Like the guy next to me, he had a loophole Mark five. I think it was like a three to, I think it was like a three to 20 or something like that. Um, so kind of an intermediate range class, if you will, because really, really, we didn't do anything inside of a hundred. And then we went out to 600 is really what we were going for. Yep. Mark 12 right there. For those of you Mark following 12. along. Uh, yeah. Which is a super cool rifle and a super cool story for those who are interested. Lots of cool information on that. If you want to go down a rabbit hole on uh, on guns of uh, the global war on terror. Yeah, for sure. So um, fun fact, when I worked at a, a rifle company, um, we had a surplus of long barrels that we were not using in any product. And I was mm-hmm. like, let's make a modern FPR. And then we yes. did. And we sold the ever loving shit out of those things. <laughs> like, dude, pop. it's people love it. Like we have I have a couple in our, our cage at work and with the proper suppressor. So with mm-hmm. the uh, with the Allen Engineering over barrel suppressor, and dude, those th- it's a a super cool gun to shoot. It's like one of the few guns at work I wish I could just take home. Um, and if nice? you bring it out, people love it. Uh, that those two, I have two of them actually. Well, we have two of them, and they <laughs> are made by uh, PRI. Okay, so PRI makes them. It's the most clone correct one you can just buy. Um, but it has the it has the proper barrel, the Douglas uh, air gauge barrel. It has the uh, um, the suppressor, the suppressor mount, uh, the proper handguard, the proper top rail, and then the rest of it. You know, even the even the real ones were uh, very um, they were all over the map as far as as far as bottom ends on those, as far as stock configurations and actual triggers and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're super cool. They're uh they're really awesome rifles. And uh it it, it it's funny when you look at them too because there's a lot of things that that we use in 3 gun. I'm um, like if you saw this with like a different and for those listening we're this is also will be on YouTube. But if you saw this this rifle with a different scope, you wouldn't think it was any anything but like an old three gun rifle. You know, like this actually would look at home. Fun fun fact that is where this came from uh yeah. so amu amu heavily influenced uh that that evolution of rifle so um without going down the hole um uh we found ourselves in afghanistan they found themselves having a need for the socom wanted some kind of rifle like this and the amu was i mean this, these are the the days when daniel horner won everything by 20% um, and so like, they're like, Hey, longer handguard, you know, for bracing off of stuff, 18 inch barrel, um, muzzle brake, all that stuff, uh, was directly influenced by uh three gun in its heyday and transferred over into a military application. And then it got militarized a little bit. Well, a lot of it, um, yeah. but it came, it came from, uh, three guns. So if you're ever fortunate enough to be somewhere where AMU is um, um, vending, like they have a little booth set up, or if you get to tour their armory, which not very many people get to do, but they have a little board set up in their armory that kind of shows like stuff they were using in competition at the time that actually became military program weapons. And that's the original Mark 12 is one of those. I have, I have a picture of one that's in the AMU cage. They call it Baghdad Bob. Um, that was one of the original ones and actually like went, uh, went over to Afghanistan a few times or no, well, it went after Iraq. Um, huh. but, uh, some of the, one of the original Mark 12s is in the AMU inventory and, and they, they gave it a fun name. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So the, um, according to Wikipedia service is, uh, 2002, 2017. So yeah, that's right around that time. That's incredible. 